Let us do question number five. Question number six. Sorry. Question number six. Derivatives. Please read through the chart. Okay, they have given a decision tree. Strike price is given as ninety eight. So I'll write down over here. Then I'll write down point number A. Strike price is ninety eight. Point number B. Current price S zero is equal to how much? Hundred. RF is how much percentage? Five percentage. The continuous compounding rate is given. So E raised to R T is given over here. One point zero five one two seven. All right. They want you to find out the probability. Friends, in binomial model. how do you find out the probability i am not going into the logic of all these things i have not taught this in detail in my classes it is i minus d divided by u minus d okay id ud that's a short form so how do we take i i is the interest rate it will be 1.05127 minus d would be the the price that is falling down compared to the spot price so here the price that is falling down is 95 by 100 Am I right? How much is ninety five by hundred point nine five? All right. I believe ninety point two five divided by ninety five will also be the same thing. Check it out. That's also the same thing. Divided by U D U will be one point zero eight hundred and eight divided by hundred minus D is going to be point nine five. Point one zero one two seven divided by point one three. So do I get the answer as seventy seven point nine percentage? This is the probability of price moving up. Okay, please write down this in your textbook. They have taken it as seventy eight percentage. All right. So we are done with the first part. Shall I go to the second part now? <clears throat> They want to have a payoff. Is it a call option or a put option? Two year tree is given. It's an American call option. So what happens with the call option, friends? Call option is a right to buy. So I'll write down the next two working note. Okay. Payoff table. of american call option okay friends american option means you can exercise this at any point of time okay so i'll come over here and i'll write down i'll draw the decision tree first now tell me what is the exercise price 98 e1 is equal to 98 So they have a right to buy at ninety eight. Today the price is how much? Hundred. <coughs> price may go up to one zero eight. Everyone tell me right to buy at ninety eight. If the price goes up to one zero eight, will you exercise or lapse? You will exercise and you will make a profit of how much? Twenty. If the price falls down to ninety five, you will lapse. Okay. From here, the price is again going up to one one six point six four. Or the price is going to fall down to how much? One zero two point six. It may again go up one zero two point six. It may fall down ninety point two five. Lapse here. Here it will be exercised. How much is one hundred and sixteen point six four minus ninety eight? Do I get the answer as eighteen point six four over here? Okay. And the other one is one hundred and two point six. Do I get the answer as four point six over here? 
and here also I'll get the number as how much 4.6. This diagram is what we call it as decision tree. Okay, just go through these threads. We also have the probability, right? How much is that? 78% down you have 22%. 78%, 22%. 78 percent, 22%. Okay. So now friends, basically what we are going to do from this is we are going to now find out the value of the option. I believe they are only asking you to calculate the cash flow. Nothing else they have told in the question. All right. I'll do one thing now. In this diagram, I'll give some alphabets A, B, and I'll call this one as C. Okay. Now, based on this, I'll go and draw a table called as the payoff table. Particulars. Particulars. I'll give a heading called as computation. And the last column heading will be what? Result. Okay. So here in particulars, the heading would be, what will be the heading in particulars that will come? First, I'll put A. The formula for A would be 18.64 into 0.78 plus plus what 4.6 into 22 percentage. So what is the expected profit you get over there? Divided by 1.05127, the present value. Fourteen point seven nine. Alright. So once you get fourteen point seven nine as the answer for the first one. Second at B, what will it be? Four point six into point seven eight. Cu into IDUD plus CD into UIUD whole divided by I. So when you do this, you will get the answer as three point four one. Am I right? At C, the formula would be 14.75 into 0.78 plus 3.41 into 0.22 whole divided by You get the answer as 11.69. Okay. Friends, this is the final answer. But there is one mistake in your textbook. Okay. This is actually the payoff table using European call option. But they have called it as American call option. American call option is not there in your syllabus as such. If it's American call, we should consider this also. But we haven't considered 20. American call is any time. You can exercise it either here or here or here. So don't uh, technically think so much. This is actually a European call, but your RTP has done it calling it as an American call. So just do it like this and finish it off. Okay. I'll give you a minute's time. Just read through this entire thing. And if you have any doubts, please let me know. This is a very tricky question. Kritika, profit of 10 on 108. Oh, have I made a mistake also there? Thank you, Kritika, for correcting me. I might make some mistakes here or there. Just remind me immediately. Okay, I'll correct it. This is 10. What you said is right.
Here you get the same answer under American and European also. I will just explain that part also to you. Now here you got fourteen point seven nine, you got three point four one, and you got eleven point six nine. Okay, everybody has got this answer. If it was American option, ideally what we should do is we should compare this with ten and see whichever is better. Because at node A. You are already getting ten over there, so tell me which is better, friends? Fourteen point seven nine is better or ten is better? Fourteen point seven nine is better. Okay, here it will be three point four one or zero, whichever is better. How did I get that zero over there now? The zero. American can be either exercised at this point or at this point. That's why we are comparing the average of this versus ten, whichever is better. so here this becomes better here this becomes better and this becomes your final answer everybody clear with this part we have done a similar question in my regular class friends if you have attended my regular class you would know it's exactly the same all right so we are done with question number what is the question number friends we are done with question number 6 also